Hello everyone, I'll be analyzing a very high level game by two strong grandmasters, as white is Rukhad Report, and as black is Muhammad Al Sayyad, white is over 2700. Okay, let's begin the game. C4, English opening, F6, knight C3, G6, E4, D6, D4, and they transpose to the King's Indian, Bishop G7, Bishop E2, Castle, Bishop E3, and white played with Bishop E2, Bishop E3. Plan of h4, h5, and attack on the king side. e5, d5, a5. Black wants knight a6 to c5. h4, knight a6. Also, h5 is a possibility. a6, h5. Knight c5, queen c2. Protecting e4. c6, long castle. And white is threatening to take on c6, and the rook is lined up on the queen. So, black captured on d5. White captured on c5, black play d4. Black captures on c5, white plays h6. Bishop has to retreat to this terrible square on h8 where it's not doing anything. Now white takes on d5. You see these light squares, white is controlling, and white has a strong pass pawn. And also black's bishop on h8 is terrible. So white has a large advantage here. So instead, black play d4. H6, throwing the bishop, bishop h8, bishop a3. Black took on c3, white took back, queen b6. White is threatening this pawn. Now, if black wants to defend, he can go knight e8, but it doesn't actually help because of c5, and of course black can't take back because white just takes the queen. Black tries to give a check and get the queen away from the pin. White just moves the king, black takes, white takes back. The rook's not going anywhere, so I'm just going to pick up the rook next move. So instead of that, black went queen b6, white took on d6 with bishop, and if he takes with rook, it's not as good because black takes the pawn on f2. So black took with bishop threatening the rook, so black has no time to take f2. Rook e8, c5, the bishop on d6 is really strong, white is attacking the queen, queen c6, threatening e4, so white protects with f3, b5. Knight h3 with the threat of knight g5, queen b3, some kind of an idea like that. Bishop a6, knight g5, b4, queen b3. White is threatening to take on f7 with checkmate. Rook a7, white takes on a6, queen takes, white takes b4, black takes back on b4, and black is threatening to take on a2. So white defends with rook d2, also king b1 is possible. D2, knight f5, king b1. The idea is maybe like rook c1, c6, something like that. Black goes knight f4, c6. White sacrifices the pawn. Black does not take. And if black takes on c6, white goes rook c1 with tempo. And black moves queen a6, bishop c5, tempo on the rook. Black does something like rook b7, rook d6, and white has a strong initiative. So black decided not to take and went bishop f6. But now bishop c5 attacking the rook. Black took on g5. If he moves the rook to somewhere like c7, white goes rook d7. And it's just crushing for white. So black took on g5, white took on a7. Black took on c6. If he takes the bishop, I go rook d7. And I'm threatening mate and the queen. So this would be a disaster for black. So he took the pawn, rook c1, queen f6. And now queen a4, threatening the rook. Rook f8, bishop c5 again, attacking the rook. Bishop takes h6, white took. The rook, black really is hopeless here. White is not two exchanges, black took back. Rook c8, invading the 8th rank with threats like queen e8 and rook d8. Queen b6, queen e8, black gave a check, and now white just retreated with tempo. Black went back to b6, and white went rook d8, and black decided it was enough and just resigned. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please tell me in the comments. Also, please subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video. Bye!